Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Art Whisper 88. Uh, I promised a viewer to show how uh, I register uh, my prints with a smaller plate. Now this is a 12 by 14 let me open the package there's a glare here this is a 12 by 14 gel press this is a different company uh, aside from the company that makes jelly plates and this is the original package and as you can see it's it's naturally very sticky okay It's so sticky that it picks up the uh, lettering from the package, or from the insert. Okay. So this is a uh, half size of paper. And in another video, I had showed you how to get the center point is I crease the plate and th this doesn't matter how big or small your plate is here's my sharpie and you take your gel plate and kind of find the two corners kind of gently pinch the middle part and then you make a tick mark okay and then you do the same with the other end as so you put the two corners together and then you make a tick mark on the on the fold that would have been the crease in the middle so this is a sure fire way to find the middle of your plate okay that's step one now let me put aside the package now this is step two is on your table it's advisable to have a center line okay the center line is a guide for your printing or your printmaking it's always good to have a reference point and you take this tick mark and line it up with the center line and do the same with the bottom and this way you know that your plate is in the middle okay you may have to play with it a little bit because it's very jiggly I mean after all it's a piece of jelly so it's very uh, kind of like a shape shifter if you want to call it so now I have my gel plate centered with my center line and um, Here's the paper that I want to use. And the paper also has a center line. Okay, and the center line lines up with the line on the table. So you, you have to decide how high or how low the plate is going to be. Now, um, 
this is a habit of mine I, I rather have instead of having the plate smack in the middle I like it ever so slightly like say an inch higher because I want to leave space for my signature and the date because I always sign my plate I mean I always sign my prints here in the bottom so what I'm gonna do is make a little dot here now this is not the actual printing paper this is just your guide so I'm using this piece of paper and putting lines on it so you can understand how I figure out the middle part so I'm making a a line for the bottom and this corresponds to the bottom of the plate and then this will correspond to the top of the plate okay just to double check this is three inches from the top and this is four and a half inches from the bottom so there's more room here and then I can line up line up these lines with the plate and then gently push this and line it up with your center line there so now I know for sure that my print is going to be in the middle it will be even on left side and right side okay and then here's the important part I cut this is foam core or you can use cardboard see this this is a box that I cut up into little squares so you can if you have a box laying around you can cut them up into little tabs like this but I, I prefer this um, foam core because it it's stronger and it has a sharper edge so what what you do is you place your foam core here on the top where the top of the paper is and then your other foam core which is longer will be here on the edge so every time you place your paper it's going to hit these tabs it's always going to land in the same place so in in order to affix these you can use hot glue or tape double stick tape I like to use these these are glue dots you can find them in Staples or Michaels and they come in this little roll here and they are these little sticky dots so what I do is peel the tape and then here are the sticky dots I uh, will put one on each end like so just press it 
and it comes away from this waxy tape. And then I place it at the top. Again, I'll just press press and it transfers itself to the foam core right there and once you lay this on the table assuming that this table is clean I always try to keep it clean the glue dots are going to stay in place and these are not going anywhere these will stay put the same with this just take a glue dot press it there So there we go. So every time I want to do a print, I just lay it like that and make sure this center line lines up with this. Well, you won't have to, to check because these tabs will make sure that your paper is always in the same place. So I'll do a, I'll do a demo with the actual printing paper. And I'm going to keep this because this has the measurements. It has a center line and it has the top line and the bottom line. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back from a short break and I will show you the actual printing using uh, 15 by 22 sheet of paper. Um, let's see. I will use a Naples yellow. Okay. It's kind of watery. Just clean this spill. Try my best to be neat. Okay. I'm going to resist the urge to scribble because this is a, a demonstration on how to, sh to show you the registration technique. So here's my paper. This is a 15 inch by 22 inch and I'm placing it 
on the registration marks. I think I slipped a little because the paint is so watery. It's not super perfect, but it's a start. The left side and right side more or less are the same. Like this is very scientific. Two fingers width, two fingers width. Okay. So that's the Naples yellow. Here's a, a ghost print, actually. So let me see. Let me try something crazy. crazy Im image. I like that. Let me try um, light green. You notice my brayer is not squeaking anymore because I put some baby oil on it. Whisper quiet. Okay, this time I can't help it. I have to scribble.
I'm really putting a lot of pressure on this because I want all the colors to transfer. And this paper I'm using, this is Blick watercolor paper. Pretty cool. So this is what I mean. The margin on the right and the left are almost the same. They're not perfectly mathematically the same, but more or less they are centered. And there's room at the bottom where I can sign and date and put the addition number. Okay. So I hope you enjoy this little demonstration on how to create registration tabs with phone core if you don't have a piece of molding you can get foam core from any craft store or if you have cardboard box at home you can make you can make a, a cardboard version which will work just as well so thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time